This is going to be a tutorial about shared preference. Now this one is uh, for this tutorial. As you can see, I've already opened my main activity, the Java right here, and here we have activity main.xml. So without wasting your time, I'm going straight to designing my layout here. So first of all, I don't need this, so I'll just delete it. All right, and I'll go back to the design and I'm going to choose in which I'm going to choose the plain text here, the very first one. I put it here in the middle. And I will choose the next one, the second. And to finish it all, I'll choose the bottom which I'll put it right here, right in the middle there. Okay. All right, so right now, as you can see, I'm using the uh, constraint layout. Uh, this one, uh, you can see these two edit text. Uh, they have a red line which shows there's a problem. So, um, sorry. You need to go to design here, and you can choose this one and click this one here. This pattern is in far constraints, and as you can see, it's gonna give some constraint there. And um, when you check out right now, it's all gone. It's all cool, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. Now let's go right here and let's uh, under it hint, which is going to be your username and right here we don't need this I'm gonna give it Android hint which is gonna be your password so as you can see right here we have your username and your password now um we we are going to add for a button um, we're going to change the text first. This text we're going to give them um, sign in. Okay, and then because we want to give to give it uh, on click, which will be its name will be the same on click. Okay, so when somebody clicks, it's gonna take some action in there, and so. Okay, so right now the onclick method onclick is missing in main activity. So uh, press your Alt Enter and then create onclick view in main activity, just like that. So here we have our uh, onclick uh, method here. So in order to be able to read from our edit text, there we need to we are going to first. Of all, declare them here. Oh, sorry. Edit text, which is going to be edit text. And another one, which I'll give it edit text one. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have edit text and edit text two here. So, okay, uh, I'll give it two. And then we are going to initialize them here. So, Edit text is going to be equal to sorry edit text find view by id which is r dot id dot edit text that was the very first one and then you have edit text two which is going to be equal to edit text find view by id r dot id dot edit text two all right okay okay so right now we're going to um to create a username which will be a string actually and it's going to be equal to edit text dot get text and then we're going to convert them to string and then we're going to check okay the pass which will be equal to edit text the second one okay 
again it's the same thing get text all right and then we're going to convert them to string all right and after we have gotten the name and the password we need to we need a way to save them to get preferences so we're going to call the get preference first so we're going to check out the shared preference perhaps yeah, they're going to be equal to get shared preferences we are going to set this as login okay and it's more it's going to be private now we need to find a way to edit this so we're going to get an editor okay which you which will be equal to which will be editing our prefix perhaps here all right here you can see i forgot to to give the editor the name okay so expression the expression and then so we are ready to start um editing our shared preferences now the very first one we're going to put we're going to use editor to put string okay we're going to put a string to the key name the key name is going to be username okay and which string are we going to put is the username which you have declared up, up there and we are, going, we are also going to put a uh, password okay all right which password we have already declared up there pass so for now um, we have but we need to commit the changes so we're going to to call the editor dot commit in order to save the changes so right now our user will be saved their name the username and password will be saved on the shared preferences okay well so that's it for this part here now we want our user next time he comes he won't be presented with this uh, layout he won't be presented with this activity main so we're going to create another activity which will be the welcoming activity so from here we're going to create an empty activity okay um, I will give it just a name welcome okay now click finish there wait for it to finish okay so it's finished there now when it it has uh, saved all this and committed we want it to take us to the welcoming class so we're going to uh, to, the, to create an intent here which I'll give it name i it's going to be equal to new intent and this will be uh, main activity dot this and it's gonna take us to welcome welcome dot class all right so then after that we're going to start our activity which is i okay well so we are finished with this part here now we are going to go straight to the welcome now first of all we're going to um okay we are going to configure this welcome now with the welcome here all we need is a text view okay i'll just put it there it's gonna be good and then and another one which i'll put it right here okay anyway um this one will say welcome okay okay as you can see the very the, the same problem of constraint here because it doesn't have a constraint a vertical constraint so it's we are going to fix it like that but it's to we want it to go down a little bit so we're going to configure this one here we're going to give it 32 so it's going to go down a little bit okay so this is going to be welcome and this one we will fix it later okay well so when this one comes after the on create we are going to so we're going to uh, initialize the text view right here so we are much more interested in this one text view 2 because that's why that's the one we're going to change so it's going to be text view 2 okay 
text view which equals to all right text view and find view by id which is going to be our dot id dot text view two this is the one that we are interested in we are going to change the welcome one will never change so text view dot set text but we are going to give it a username okay so now here the problem comes where is the username where is it we don't have a username so we're going to declare it here okay so string username okay and how are we going? okay so we don't know what a username is so so we're going to call it using our shared preferences so shared preferences perhaps equals to get shared preferences and we remember we set it in login excuse me and the mode was private okay so we're going to say preps dot oh sorry excuse me so we're going to assign a string username to preps dot get string which string is it we remember it's a username okay now here we can just give it any any value all right so and right now we need to just run this and see how it goes okay okay so right now I'm going to test it uh, I'm going to test this on my and all right as you can see we have uh, your username here I'm going to write my name uh, mr. West and my password any anything because we didn't make any of those okay so as you can see here it's welcome mr. West so it's working all right and let me change this to something else maybe uh, uh, George Bush and as you can see welcome George Bush right there so it's working perfect all right now so as you can see right now every time you open your app it's going to be the same thing yeah so every time you open your app you'll be presented with the same screen asking for your username and password now we don't want that we want um, when you sign in for the very first time and the very next time you open your app it takes you straight to, to your welcome screen so we're going to take care of that all right okay okay so we're going to come back to the main activity and we're going to come back to the shared preference this part here okay all right so um they say commit is not much recommended it's better to use apply okay we'll see why later okay so we're going to come to the to, to here and add a, a, another value here which is going to be a boolean and it's going it's going by the name is log is logged okay and it's value because it's a boolean it's going to be true that means the user is logged in already okay so um, now in order to handle this we are going to create another activity here which is going to be a, our splash screen okay so I will just give it a name splash okay now what we're going to do right after the uh, on create we're going to we'll make a thread okay and this is, this is going to be a timer thread okay So it's going to be a new thread, all right. So we're going to make it run for for a moment, okay. Uh, we're going to try and catch there, okay. So we're going to sleep, let it sleep for maybe two seconds, all right. 
And so we're going to catch interrupted exception E. All right, we need to uh, do those. And E dot print final straight to get the error. And when it's finished, finally. All right. Now, when it finishes, it needs to check. Okay. It needs to check if the user is logging, logged in or not. Okay. So, uh, right here, first of all, let's call our. I'll just copy and paste it here. There's a better way to do this, but uh, for now, let me just use this method here. And um, I will just paste it, paste it right there. Okay, and you need to get that. So you uh, you have a this username which is string here. So, but we don't need the username actually. So I will just delete this one here. And I'll say uh, boolean. Okay. I'll give it is logged. It will be equal to perhaps dot get boolean, which will be is logged. Remember, we get it. And now we just try to give it a, uh, a default value so after I've got I've gotten this now we're going to check here on the finally if so if is logged okay um, this one equals to true all right that means he's logged already so we're going to take him straight to the welcome screen so we are going to make an intent. I because to new intent. All right, and this one is going to take us from splash. So this and it's going to take us straight to welcome class. Oh, sorry. To welcome dot class. Okay, and we are going to start our activity. All right, now that was an if part. Now, else, okay, else that means he's not logged. So, our intent is going to is going to take us straight to our main activity. That means it's going to have to want him to sign in again, okay. So it's going to be the main activity dot class. All right, and then we're going to start our activity. I like that. All right, so um, we've already checked all these steps, and now we want to start our timer. Okay, so right here, let's finish this and oh, timer thread is going to start. Uh, there was one more um, thing there. All right. And um, what is the problem right here? Let me see. All right. So I forgot another another one of these. Okay. And I think that's it. Now, uh, after you do this, remember to put on your manifest that the splash is going to be the, uh, the launcher. So you're going to have to copy all this from here okay. so you're going to copy all of this here not copy actually cut and then you're going to paste it here on this one right here okay well so right now let's try to run our, our program and see all right so right now you can see if I open our application here this is a splash screen and it takes me straight to the welcome and it says the last name which I used which is house okay so this is how you can use uh, shared preferences to get user persistence um, and that's it I'll see you next time bye bye